Hi guys, uh, today's John's Hello Movie Fans and John's YouTube Fans channels. And today I have a long update for the beginning of May updates of last week and plus Monday. So, uh, the first thing I'll be showing, I'll probably take a break from updates because I want to save money and I want to be conservative money, so I'm just going to take a break and probably do reviews and lists. So, here you go. Um, so, the first one, um, I went to a bookstore, it was used. So like a flip shop. Yeah, flip shop. And I found some good stuff. Um, I think this was 80 cents. Or like 70 cents. I think more in the 80 cents. Was a Criterion Sekendi Films. Which is an amazing place for this. Because usually Criterions are usually 20 to... Fifty dollars, maybe one hundred, um, but this looked interesting, and I'm happy I found this. They had two copies there, and this is a must buy. Um, so I don't know if the transfer is good, but I hope so. And yeah, um, the Kennedy films back in the day, that was eighty cents. And plus for another 80 cents or like 75 is Carter's. I do own this on DVD, but it's in full screen. And I'm like, um, I prefer wide screen. So I just picked up the Blu-ray. And plus I'm upgrading my Pixar films to Blu-ray Pixar. So Carter's, I think I saw this the other day. Um, and it hold up. Um, it's quite good. It's a good film. Um, Blue way and then the DVD. Um, but I feel like it goes slowly sometimes, and that's how people don't like this film. But again, I find this kind of underrated. And if you haven't seen this, or if you have seen it, but it's been like a long time. I do recommend watching this. Your opinion might change. Your opinion may not change. But I think Cars, in my personal opinion, is pretty good and underweighted. I don't think it's Pixar's best, but I don't think it's the worst. So that was 75 cents. So overall, $1.60, which is a very good price for both. Next one up is half price books, and this was the total was $40. Um, so the first one is Beyond 2012. This was $1, and I haven't read this, I haven't read this book yet, and it might be a good filler, so that's why I picked it up. Next one up is The Hey for A for $3. Um, I think this is a very good movie. I know some people may call this Quintino's, Quinta Tarantino's, um, um, Quentin Tarantino's, there you go, um, weakest film, but I think this is a good solid film. It's definitely not his best, but again, it's definitely not his least. Um, Pretty solid, and I think the best part about this cover is that there's actually all work, our work. When you take off this foot cover sleeve, um, it looks like a 1920s, <coughs> a 1920, like all work painting, which is amazing. And this set is very good too. Uh, this set comes with, I'm going to put down the camera, and now, so this set comes with your normal blue way. The codes had already been taken, so, here's DVD, and here's the blue way. So 
for that Safeway. A very good, solid movie. It gets slow at times, but um, it's good throughout and it's entertaining. I saw most of the extended cut on Netflix and it's good. Um, so next one up is the Judas, Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, this was $5 at half price books and it's a great price. This was swing clap, so I just took it off, but this is one of the most underrated, or probably in the top five for me, underrated films of 2021. Now, this didn't make that much at the box office, but this was Academy Award winner. Um, I thought this was a very good movie. Um, so we got the Blu-ray and we got the digital copy. So that's Judas and the Black Messiah. If you haven't seen this film, I do recommend watching this. I'm thinking of watching this again, actually, this month. Since I have it. Um, it's on HBO Max, but I would definitely recommend picking it up on physical media. So that's Judas and the Black Messiah. Not a lot of bonus features for $5. It's a good price and a good movie. Um, I wish it did better at the box office, but again, it was COVID and not a lot of people were going to the feeder. Most people were just watching streaming. So that's fine with me. So next one up is Joker. Now, this is a pretty good movie. Um, I think it's a little bit overrated, but again, very good. Um, I think the violence in this movie has a point to tell. Um, I'm not rooting for the Joker, um, even though I feel bad for him in some spots, but this is a very good movie and a very good character development. I'm glad this made a ton of money and um, the digital copy already been used, so we got the DVD and the Blu-ray. This was six dollars, which was a steal, in my opinion. So that's Joker, a very good movie, character development, and definitely deserve the, the Academy Award winners. Next one up is Hobbs and Shaw. Um, I think this is just a good, fun action movie. It's not taking itself seriously. And I kind of like some of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, and this one, I think it's the best. Um, it has enough realistic. I mean, it's not totally realistic, but there's some realistic parts about it. And it's good to have some. Um, but again, this is a good, fun film. So you got your digital copy code, your Blu-ray, and your DVD. Um, I do like some Fast and Furious movies. I think the other ones are too ridiculous, and just the story wasn't good. But this one, the story was good. So, it's Hobbs and Shaw. That was for $5, which is a very good price. Next one up is The Godfather. Now, this was $7, and I do like The Godfather. Um, I know Free got hate, but I enjoy Free. But again, the first two are pretty good. I haven't seen The Godfather in a while, so I might check it out again. But we got the important notes, notice. We got the Blu-ray for the first film, the second film, the third film. And we got a Copa bonus features disc with bonus features. Um, so that's nice. Um, again, a good set um, for $7. And this trilogy is very good, even though the third one is still weekly in the change. 
Shane. This also came with a book too, um, which has the films. each one and there's posters and we got the bonus features and the Academy Awards so very nice set oh, God, um, I know they came out with 4k and the Blu-ray set but again glad to own this for seven dollars Next one up is Justice Week. This was $4. And I know what you're thinking. John, why did you pick this up? This wasn't good, John. But I'm going to be real with you all. I thought this was a decent, fun film. I know there's a lot of criticisms. Um, I do have some flaws. This is a flawed movie, but I had fun with this. Um... I think the Zack Snyder Justice Week is superior. I think it's a great film, but I think this is a fine, decent, fun film that you can put on and enjoy. Um, here's your Blu-ray, here's your DVD. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure, you know, something to enjoy for two hours. So that was Justice Week for four dollars. Definitely a good price. Um, I was going to pick up the, Sna the Zack Snyder version, but it was a little bit overpriced, so I'm thinking when that goes down, I'm thinking of picking that up. Last one, but not least, is the Born Classified Collection. Um, the best deal out of all of them, um, besides Godfather, this was $6, which... For me, it's a steal. So almost two dollars per movie, or yeah, um, two dollars. So almost um, like one fifty or one twenty-five for all films, which is a good price. Um, I do like this franchise. Um, this doesn't include the fifth one, which is the last one that I need to quit all of them. But these are just good, fun action movies that are serious, but they're fun, good. So this is Born Identity. And the discs are in these little sleeves, which are fine. So that's the Born Identity. And the Born Supremacy. And there's a disc. There's a little artwork. Born ornamented. Here's a disc. Um, this one is the best one out of all of them. My opinion. And most people's opinion. Now the Born Legacy, which... Um, I know there's people that hate this film, but... I haven't seen all of it. I've seen some of it. I mean, I think it's decent. And we got Jason Bourne, which was a disappointment. So coming 2016, which... Um, for my next update, which probably be next month or the end of this month, I'm going to pick up Jason Bourne. It's one on my watch... That's one on my wish list. So I'll put in the Blu-ray disc for that. And then here's the bonus disc, which is a DVD, which kind of sucks, but again, it's a DVD. And we have more pictures on there for $6 to steal. So each one has pictures on there for each of the films, which is pretty nice. You can have a marathon. Uh, this came out before Jason Bourne, so it came out in June, so Jason Bourne came out at the end of July, which I didn't hate Jason Bourne, I thought it was okay, best, but that's not good. Um, 
the weakest one. One pitchers. So that's the born classified collection. So again, I'm gonna do a we start recap. So I got the born classified collection for six dollars. Got Justice League for four dollars, four K. Got Godfather collection for seven dollars. Got Hobbs and Shaw for five dollars or five fifty. So I'm just gonna say five fifty. I got Joker for six dollars. I got Judas and Black and Siam for five dollars. Got Hateful Eight for free, and I got. Beyond 2012, the almond point, omega point, for one dollar. Now for the thrift shop, you got cars for, I would say 75 cents. Yeah, 75 cents. And I got the candy films for 75 cents. So that was all I had for the update. I hope you guys have a good Western day. Um, again, for my next video, I'll probably do a review, a double feature. But I hope you guys have a good day and make sure to follow, follow, make sure to subscribe, follow, um, make sure to subscribe, comment, and tell me which one was the best find in this haul and why um if you want to um so i hope you all have a good western day and i'll see you guys later bye